Thanks for tuning into our Aikido White Belt Bible series. In this third video of the series, we'll be going over etiquette. Things like when to sit or stand, silencing your cell phone before class, and other important points. Before we get into details, let me start by saying that out of the 168 hours in a week, the average Aikido student manages to set aside only about four or five of those hours for their Aikido training. That's only about 2% of your life that week. So you'll want to make sure that those few precious hours really count. Do whatever you can to be fully present in your training for the sake of your partner and for your sake as well. First off, silence your cell phone and tuck it away in your bag or your clothes before getting on the mat. It can be. Second, if you're thirsty during class, see if you can wait until afterward to get a drink. These are your training hours, remember? You don't want to miss anything. Third, make it your goal to arrive early, not just on time. Some dojo members ask permission from their boss to shift their schedules around so that they can get to the dojo early. See if your boss is flexible. During class, be silent and fully focused when the instructor is up front demonstrating the next technique. Don't chat with the person next to you or take that time to get a drink of water. When the instructor comes to you and your partner to throw you, focus on what's happening. The instructor has chosen to come to you two in particular in order to illuminate a point, to correct some mistake you're making, or perhaps simply to encourage you two to keep up the great training. Pay attention. This is definitely not the time to turn your back on the instructor, or fix your belt, get a drink, or even worse, switch to a different partner since the instructor is throwing more partner. This is yours and your partner's 30 second private lesson. Take full advantage of it. When the teacher is throwing your partner, run to a safe spot and sit to watch. On the edge of the mat is usually best. This way the instructor can keep track of where you are and not throw your partner on top of you. This helps keep things safe. Check your body language. How are you sitting? It's best to sit up straight, ready to jump in at a moment's notice. Good posture and body language is not only polite in martial arts, but it's practical. No serious warrior puts themselves in a position where they can't respond with you. Sitting up straight and being alert shows the instructor and your dojo mates that you are ready to train. Train hard with joy and sincerity. When things arise that you're not sure how to handle, the senior students will naturally take you under their wing to guide you and support you. I hope this was helpful. Please leave a comment in the comment section. We always love to hear from you. And remember, don't just watch these videos. Get on the mat and train. See you there.